What is going on people and welcome back to the channel guys. So today we're out here at my buddy's pond. Let me just turn y'all around so y'all can see it. Yeah, right here at one of my buddy's ponds. It's way back here in the woods. And this pond is loaded with perch, small bass, and crappie. Now today we're gonna be using a bait I have never used before. I saw this at Walmart today when I was walking around getting some more Senkos for my next trip coming up. And I saw this bait and I was like, no, we need to try that. We need to go out here and do some pan fishing and you just try this. And that is the Guggen Squad Live Worms. I've never seen these before or used them before. I walked past the worm uh, freezer today and I saw they had these. And I was like, I gotta try those. Now, one thing I didn't like though is compared to regular night crawlers, these things were a whole dollar more. And when I looked inside, I was not really impressed with what I saw, guys. These are small worms. Now, when I was looking up on Google, Google said, yeah, these worms are gonna be like big and they're gonna be green. When I looked in this, no, it's not big and it's not green. So let me set y'all up on the tripod so I can show this to y'all real quick because it is kind of disheartening to say the least. Look, take a look take a look at this y'all are gonna be disappointed just like I am but I was expecting to see like some really big green worms in here no see I'm gonna get my finger way down in there and get the bottom ones for y'all see okay look look just little tiny half dead worms pretty sure that one is dead that one's barely moving look just small small tiny 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 worms so I'm a little disappointed uh, it's not what I was thinking at all. I probably would have been better off getting the uh, 18 Canadian earthworms. They're way bigger. Now, that one's a little feisty. He's going to move around pretty good on the hook. But, you know, I was just expecting more, you know, from these worms. Just, it's not, it's not it. These are all very, very tiny, very, very small, very almost dead. So, this is going to be an interesting uh, trip today. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge. You know, let's just make it the challenge. And whatever I catch today, I'm going to uh, clean and cook as well. So we're just going to find out and see how good these Guggen Squad worms really are. Because just looking at them, it's, it's not going to be good. So, yeah. Scented green goonies. These are not scented at all. These are half dead goonies, if anything. So... We'll see guys. I'm about to put you on the GoPro and uh, toss out a worm or two and we'll just see if anything even just decides to bite these. They might even look at these and like, no, that's pitiful. I'm not even going to go for it. But we'll see. We'll see. And guys, if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Will Action channel. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. We're like 400 away. So I know with y'all, we can definitely make it happen. And I really appreciate all of my subscribers I have right now. But guys, if you haven't already, please get, leave a comment. Give me the big thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you can get notified when more awesome videos like this, guys. So... It's time to put these Guggen worms to the test. All right, here we go, first cast. I got my bobber maybe 10, 11 inches from the worm. We're gonna give it a test. Good cast. Also, this is my very first time fishing with this combo setup. I've had it sitting with my other rods for a very long time and I never used it because the reel is so small. It is a super, super small reel. Oh, getting a bite, getting a bite. Oh, got him, got him, got him. Oh, did he come off? No, he came off. Oh, guys, that looked like a good one. That looked like a good one. Throw that back out there. Also, I'm only using eight pound test uh, fluorocarbon. I probably could have dropped down to six, but just in case there was any bass in here, I wanted to make sure I had a little extra poundage. That was a good first bite. Bobber down, bobber down, I got one. I got one finally. Oh yeah. There we go. Whew, finally. I was starting to get discouraged, y'all. We weren't catching anything for a while and finally this guy hits it. See, right there on the Guggen Squad worm. I was beginning to think these guys didn't like it. Man, that guy's got some teeth on him. Can y'all see that? Sheesh. That is insane. That's a really pretty looking uh, sunfish though. Really pretty. All right guys, so after a good minute of not getting a single bite, as soon as I put my rod down to start doing a little bass fishing over to the side, we catch this really pretty one right here. Really, really pretty one. So this is gonna be the first one that we keep of the day. He's uh, he's okay size. He's got a little meat on him, a little, little thick, little belly. So he will definitely be the first one we keep that we're gonna eat later today. So we're gonna put him in the live well. 
and put another worm on and try to catch a little a little bit more we need at least i'd be happy with like three or four that'd be okay to make a few you know fish tacos out of so first one let's get it let's go all right so the first one of the day going in the live well have a pretty good amount of worm left. I thought it was less than this, so we're just gonna loop him over so they don't yank him off. And there we go, ready to throw out again. I'm gonna throw it out right where I had the last one. There we go. I'm willing to bet money as soon as I set this rod down, they're gonna hit it. Throw in my wacky worm. I feel like something was biting that actually. Now I haven't bass fished in this pond in a long time, so I don't even know if there's still bass in here. Another one, another one guys, another one. Can you believe it? As soon as I put it down. Get in here, get in here, get in here. Oh yes, another keeper. There we go. This one looks a little bit bigger than the last one. Oh yes. Right on top of the nose. Popped out just like that and I still got a little bit of worm left. That's crazy. All right, y'all, there is number two right there. Another really good bluegill. <laughs> just like I said, as soon as I put that rod down, I start doing a little bit of bass fishing. That bobber just goes directly under. It's like they know I'm holding it, so they just wait till I put it down, which is absolutely insane. But there is keeper number two on the Guggen Squad worms. <laughs> that is just crazy. I can't believe that. I had so many doubts about those worms because they just look like crap. So, <laughs> number two. Number two going in the bucket. Alright, number two. In you go. Making sure they got plenty of water. They're good. That's a good spot. I set it down just for a second. Right, I caught that bass right over here in this little corner. So. Oh, there was something right over there. Did y'all see that? Big ol' splash.
dad gun it. What happened? Took my worm. Took my worm. No. It's probably a good fish too. Dad gun it. I gotta go put another worm on. No, 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 no. Oh man. If you're wondering what worms I'm using right here, it's the uh the Yamamoto, the new Yamamoto. And it's probably like just sprayed grass colors, nothing fancy, you know, it's just, you know, green. Man. That was probably a good bass too. It was probably a good bass and I just lost it. See if we'll come back and get another one. How crazy would that be if I caught that bass and he still has my other worm in his mouth? That would be insane. Guys, I gotta tell you what, my neck is cooking right now. My neck is cooking, and I haven't even been out here an hour. Maybe I got too big of a, a piece of worm on there, I don't know. Nothing has hit it yet. There we go. Good cast, good cast. Oh, already, already, already. There we go. Hopefully that's a little bit better one. Gotta keep pressure on him so he doesn't come off this hook. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And up, 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 there we are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is definitely a keeper bluegill right there. Oh yeah, he wasn't coming off. He's got it all in the side of the mouth. Perfect. Still got all my worm and the worm is still alive. That is great. That is great right there. There we go, y'all. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. As soon as it hit the water, number three. Just a really, really beautiful bluegill. A little fat guy, a little chubster. It's number three. So we have finally hit our three fish limit that we came here to do because that is pretty much all we're going to need to do our little uh, catch and cook. So now here in a minute we're going to take all these bad boys home. I'm going to spoon scale them and we're going to grill them up. Yes, grill them up. Oh, I can't believe it. The Guggen Squad worms actually came in clutch. Cannot believe it. All right, our perch is all done. That is the final product right there. Those two we cooked whole and just, you know, spoon uh, scaled them, left them whole, just cut the heads off and then scored them and seasoned them with some uh, hot and smoky uh, fish uh, seasoning and olive oil. And then this was the fillets off that other one that we did. So now we're gonna give it a taste test and see how it tastes. Uh, it looks really, really good. First one off is just straight fillets, a little bit of ketchup. Not too bad. Probably should have marinated for a little bit longer, but it's okay. Now for the whole ones. Again, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize. Uh, neighbors are getting a new roof, so they're turning up over there. A lot of banging. But uh, trying to get some of this meat off this perch. I mean, it's just falling apart. Look how flaky it is. There's a little bit. I think that tastes better. A straight filet seems a little bland. But this whole one has definitely got a lot more flavor to it. It's really, really flaky. It just falls right off the bone. And all we do is keep them on there for about 10, 15 minutes on the grill. Got it at a low heat. That's really, really good. Not bad. 
Oh, no, it fell. It fell. All right, but that's the fish. Let's go back to talking about the bait. So, what I recommend getting the Guggen worms. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. You can do just as good with regular worms, and they're a whole dollar cheaper. Why spend an extra dollar just for the name? It's stupid. The worms weren't even green. They were very, very small. Most of them were dead. That might have been just the pack I got, but I went through a few to try to find some live ones. They all look the same. So, in my opinion, would I get the Google worms again? Definitely not. Definitely, definitely not. I don't think they're worth the extra dollar. I think they do the exact same thing other worms do. Yes, they do catch fish, obviously, but not worth your time, not worth your extra money. But that's just my two cents, guys. This perch is really good. I'm going to finish eating. I know y'all don't want to watch me eat, but I really hope y'all enjoyed today's video. If you really did enjoy the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to see more subscribers. If you have any questions or comments or what y'all use to catch perch or anything like that, please in the comments. I'd love to hear from them. But guys, I'll catch y'all on the next one. There, you want to bite? <laughs> Kidding. Peace. I've been giving you the worst. Now you want to stay tonight. Pity how you work.